Hey there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. Today, we're going to talk about search partner ads, okay? These are ads on Google and Microsoft Bing search networks. You can actually target partners of these giants and you can actually get traffic a lot cheaper, but does it convert? Can you optimize it? Can you make a ton of money from these cheaper clicks? We're gonna get into that. I'm gonna go into my computer. We're gonna talk about these ads. Uh, everything I have discovered running them lately, I have never actually ran them in the past, so it's gonna be an interesting video here. You're gonna see some of the information that I've discovered recently about the search partner networks on both Google and Bing ads, okay? So we're gonna go into my computer, we're gonna do that, but first make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, maybe post a comment if you've had experience whether good or bad with the search partner networks on both of these ad platforms. Okay, welcome to the inside. First of all, let's talk about what are search partners. Then I'm going to get into some data on my own campaigns. Then we're going to talk about optimizing and we're going to compare Google ads versus Microsoft ads when it comes to search partners. So here on Google ads help, you can go to their help support and you can search search partners. It has a whole bunch of information about Google search partners, but in general, it's sites in the search network that partner with Google to show ads and free product listings. Search partners extend the reach of your Google search ads and listings to hundreds of non-Google websites, including YouTube and other Google sites. You cannot actually see a list of the Google search partners unless you do what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you how to do that, but most people cannot see who these search partners are. Uh, you can search on Google and try and find articles about it, but most people are getting that data from third-party trackers. I'm gonna show you that in a bit. Again, over here at Microsoft, they also have information and training all about their search partner network. Now, basically the bottom line is these search uh, ads are not coming directly from the Bing search tool or the Google search tool, okay? They're coming from partner sites such as eBay. Here's an example. If you go to eBay and you search something like auto parts, way down at the bottom, at the bottom of the page, eBay is monetizing their results using Google search ads. Right here, you can see if I hover over visit website, down in the bottom left, you're gonna see google.com as the referral link, okay? So these are Google ads. This is where eBay makes money from Google by posting these ads for them, okay? That is how it works. It's kind of similar to AdSense in a, in a way, but it's not the exact same because AdSense is more about display ads. This is about search ads, okay? And you have to have certain criteria in order to become a search partner. However, there is still the ability for these publishers, not saying eBay does it, but other search partners to generate fraudulent clicks. Once you move off of the platforms like Facebook, Google, Bing, you open yourself up to potential crap traffic because these publishers can do whatever they want, getting people to click on it. Now, obviously there's a whole bunch of stuff behind that, but just letting you know that it's not the best quality traffic. However, it's cheaper. The, uh, the traffic does convert, but how do you optimize it? Can you optimize it? Let's talk about that. We're also gonna talk about how you actually set them up and look at the data. So let's start with Google ads, okay? I've done many videos about Google ads in the past, um, so you can check out my channel. What we're gonna look at here is when you're setting up your search campaigns. When you go in to set up a search campaign, you have this option right here when you go through their funnel. Um, basically, networks. You can choose the search network and display network. Now what I never really do is combine search and display at the same time. So we're always gonna turn off the display network if we're running search ads. Now here's where it gets uh, interesting. You can have include search partners. You can obviously click here, it'll tell you what it is and you can learn more and all that stuff. But what I used to do in the past is I used to actually turn it off because I never really knew what it was. And I ran it a couple of times, it never converted, so I never ever went back to it. But recently I've been actually testing it and I'm starting to see some in interesting facts about this traffic and it's definitely something I say from now on, I will be leaving on in the initial test of any new campaigns I run. But you can always come back and turn it off if you find that the Google search partners are not converting, okay? So how do you know if they are converting or not? 
Uh, you basically go into your, your reports over here. Let's have a look at this campaign here. I just turned on search partners so I could get uh, this up here for you. And as you can see, there's a section over here where it says segment. So I'm in the ad groups section here. And what I can do is click on segment. And what you can also click on is network. So you can click on network with search partners and it'll start to show you your search partners versus Google search, okay? And you're, you're, off, you're instantly gonna notice that the cost per click has dropped here, but there's really not enough data yet. It's only 10% of what's actually been delivered on this campaign in the last six days, okay? Um, let's see if I can switch it to the last 30 days here. See if there's any more data. Yeah, so it hasn't been running very long. It's Yeah, as you can see, it's still only $41 on search partner. So I basically just turned it on. Um, so what we're seeing here is is, a, a slightly lower cost per click on this campaign, but you'll notice on other campaigns, it is actually a lot less. Uh, you're also going to notice that the CTR is drastically lower. So what, what, you're, gonna, what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna come and look at your cost per conversion. If you're meeting the, your objectives and your cost per conversion is matching what you want it to be, then there's no reason to turn off your search partners. So I would get enough data here, get a bunch of conversions if you can. If you don't get any conversions, then obviously you're going to come back and you're going to come into your campaign settings and you're gonna turn off the Google search partners. Now the problem with Google versus Bing, we're gonna get into Bing and I'm gonna show you some more data here, which is actually more interesting. But with Google, you cannot optimize based on where that traffic came from. You can either turn on the Google search partners or you can turn off the Google search partners. Um, right now, you cannot granularly search and find these referrers and pause them, okay? So you have to either go the whole uh, network or turn it off and, and that's kind of not very uh, good for us advertisers who are spending a lot of money on here. Let's look at Microsoft ads and the difference here, which I really like, and hopefully Microsoft doesn't change this. They seem to be a lot more transparent when it comes to running ads on their network. So let's look in here. What I'm running is a sales campaign. I just turned it on again, and unfortunately I didn't have my campaign tracking the conversions in here. However, I am tracking them in my third party tracking platform right over here and here's where it gets interesting so in bing itself first of all you can actually when you're going through your campaign settings you can also set up the ability to target their um search partners okay let me just show you that quick they are in the ad group settings when you're setting up your microsoft ad groups you'll see here if i click on here and go to the settings. You can see down here now, I have the ability for ad distribution, okay? And all search networks. So I have Bing, AOL, Yahoo Search, and syndicated search partners, okay? In the past, I always ran only Bing, AOL, and Yahoo Search, but recently I've started using, again, the syndicated search partners. And on Bing, I really like the ability for me to be able to exclude websites from this uh, delivery of ads. So really I'm getting a lot cheaper traffic, more traffic from Bing, and I have the ability to exclude websites. So what would I use to exclude these websites? Well, I have to know where these websites are, and to do that I've been using a third-party tracker. So inside CPV Lab, as you can see, I can now select to look at the referrer domain and the options here that I want to see. And you can see now that a lot of the traffic is not coming from Bing. I mean, a lot of the conversions. I only got one conversion from Bing. So if I had tested this without the Google or without the Bing search partners on, I would have thought perhaps, well, this isn't really working well. I mean, I did get some from Yahoo here, but Bing itself is not giving me any conversions, okay? So I'm actually getting conversions from live local.net on here. That means it's Google. So in fact, Google, uh, Bing is actually a Google search partner, believe it or not, okay? So you can actually, when I dig down further, if I go to this setting right here, referrer page, it'll show me the exact page, okay? You can see Google right here. So all of the refer, uh, conversions here came from a Google ad basically that was served through the Bing ads platform.
Okay, so and you can see here DuckDuckGo is another referrer. It shows you exactly where. So let's just use this as an example now. Let's say I find a page such as this here, topics.businessfocus.online, where I got 26 clicks on my ad, 11 click-throughs for a 42% click-through rate, and four conversions. I mean, that's great data to have. That means I can perhaps go to this website and maybe even find it on the uh, Google Display Network and start displaying my ads directly on that site, focusing specifically on that, okay? So let me show you that uh, quickly here because I actually went to this site for a minute to kind of pull it up. So this is the site I'm talking about here. You can see they have a search feature up here, which I searched business, okay? Just anything like business. You can see their search their search results here show sponsored listings for business and when you hover over again you're going to start to see some ads here okay so let's just click on that it's probably going to go to someone else's website right so these are the ads i'm talking about their search partners this is just a typical example okay so i'm i'm looking for these types of referrer domains that i could perhaps focus specifically on now let's say i find one that i don't want in my stats um, something like this where I have 65 people came, zero click-throughs, definition.org. Let's get rid of that. Let's go copy that. We're going to go back in here and we're going to go to enter websites to exclude from showing your ads. We want to paste that in there um, and we want to make sure that we don't get our ads shown on definition.org. So I would just basically come down here and click save. Basically, when it comes to AdWords versus Bing or Microsoft ads for search partners, I'm gonna say Bing wins every single time because they give you the ability to see that data. At the same time, you can optimize that data. Now, I can still see that data when I come into my Google um, campaign here. So here's my Google campaign that I was running I also had search partners on. You can see here that most of the conversions in this campaign came from google.com, meaning I'm not really getting any real solid results from the search partner network yet. But again, I told you I just turned it on, so I'm gonna keep an eye on this. I'm gonna find out. But if I, do, if I was to see one domain just kind of take off here and get a bunch of clicks, there's no way for me to pause it, okay? So that's what I don't like. You can see I'm getting delivered on YouTube here. Um, this one here, naver.com or neighbor.com. Uh, a couple other sites you can see that are in the search network, okay? Or the search partner network. So I can start to see all their partners. If I was to find one that was really uh, converting, then I could perhaps again go back into the display network and maybe focus specifically on that domain, but there's no way I could pause it from my search campaign yet. Hopefully Google fixes that. Maybe they've decided, no, they don't wanna do that. They want you to spend more money, who knows? But anyway, let me know if you have any experience with the Search Partners Network, if you're making money with it. Uh, I'm definitely going to be using it in my ads from now on. I'm getting conversions, a lot of conversions on Bing using it, and it's starting to show profitability. So I think it's really something you need to test and tweak as you move forward using search ads in general, whether as an affiliate or a media buyer. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, uh, please give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and we'll see you in the next videos.